Blue Mouse. <laughs> Dear Padfoot, thank you, thank you for Harry's birthday present. It was his favorite by far. One year old and already zooming along on a toy broomstick. He looks so pleased with himself. I'm enclosing a picture so you can see. You know, it only rises about two feet off the ground, but he nearly killed the cat and smashed a horrible vase Petunia sent me for Christmas. <laughs> no complaints there. Of course, James thought it was so funny, so he's going to be a great Quidditch player. But we've had to pack away all the ornaments and make sure we don't take our eyes off him when he gets going. We had a very quiet birthday tea, just as old Bathilda, who has always been so sweet as to us and who dotes off Harry. We were so sorry you couldn't come, but the order's got to come first and Harry's not old enough to know it's his birthday anyway. James is getting a bit frustrated. Shut up here. He tries not to show it, but I can tell. Also, Dumbledore's got his invisibility cloak, so no chance of little excursions. If you could visit, it would cheer him up so much. Wormy was there up here last weekend. I th he seemed down, but that was probably he's nervous about the news about McKinnon's. I cried all evening when I heard. But Hilda drops in most days. She's a fascinating old thing with the most amazing stories about Dumbledore. I'm not sure he'd be pleased if he knew. I don't know how much to believe, actually, because it seems incredible that Dumbledore... <gasps> Harry! 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 I'm up here. What's happened? <sighs> We woke up and didn't know where you were. Ron, I found him. Ugh, good. Tell him from me he's a git. Harry, don't just disappear, please. We were terrified. Why didn't you come up here anyway? What have you been doing? Look what I've just found. Oh, Harry. And there's a photograph, too. I've been looking for the rest of the letter, but it's not here. Did you make all this mess, or was some of it done before you got here? Someone had searched before me. I thought so. Every room I looked into on the way up here had been disturbed. What were they after, do you think? Information on the Order, if it was Snape. But you'd think he'd already have all he needed. I mean, he was in the Order, wasn't he? Well, then, what about information on Dumbledore? The second page of this letter, for instance. You know this Bethilda my mum mentions. You know who she is? Who? Bethilda Bagshot the author of A History of Magic. So your parents knew her. She was an incredible magical historian. And she's still alive. And she lives in Godric's Hollow. Ron's Aunt Muriel was talking about her at the wedding. She knew Dumbledore's family too. Be pretty interesting to talk to her, wouldn't she? I understand why you'd love to talk to her about your mum and dad, Harry. Dumbledore too. But that wouldn't really help us with our search for the Horcruxes, would it? Harry, I know you really want to go to Godric's Hollow, but I'm scared. I'm scared at how easily those Death Eaters found us the other day. It makes me more f frightened than ever that we ought to avoid the place where your parents are buried. I'm sure they'd expect you to visit there. It's not just that. Muriel said stuff about Dumbledore at the wedding. I want to know the truth. Of course, I can see why that's upset you, Harry. I'm not upset. I just... Like to know whether or not it's true or... Harry, do you really think you can get the truth from a malicious old woman like Muriel? Or from Rita Skeeter? How can you believe them? You knew Dumbledore. Thought I did. But you know how much the truth there was in everything Rita Skeeter wrote about you? Dodge is right. How can you let these people tarnish your memories of Dumbledore? Shall we go down to the kitchen? Find some breakfast? Hermione, come back up here. R.A.B., I think I found him. <gasps> In your mum's letter? But I didn't see. 
Sirius' brother? He was a Death Eater. Sirius told me about him. He joined up when he was really young and then got cold feet and tried to leave. So they killed him. That fits. If he was a Death Eater, he had access to Voldemort. And if he became disenchanted, then he would have wanted to bring Voldemort down. Ron! Ron, get up here, quick! <sighs> What's up? If it's Master Spiders again, I want breakfast before I... What? That was Sirius's brother, wasn't it? Regulus, Arcturus, Regulus. R.A.B. The locket! Do you reckon? Let's find out. Alohomora. Hey, look at this Quidditch photo. He played Seeker. What? He's sitting in the middle of the front row. That's where the Seeker... Never mind. There's an easier way. Accio Locket! Is that it then? It's not here? Oh, it could still be here, un but under counter enchantments. Charms to prevent it from being summoned magically, you know. Like Voldemort put on that stone basin in the cave. It could be somewhere else in the house, though. Whether he'd managed to destroy it or not. He'd want to keep it hidden from Voldemort, wouldn't he? Remember all those awful things we had to get rid of when we were here last time? That clock that shot bolts out at everyone, and those old robes that tried to strangle Ron. Regulus might have put them there to protect the locket's hiding place. Even though we didn't realize it at... 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 At the time. Something wrong? There was a locket.